and Sheila, Pilates trainer and health and wellness coach for the Claremont Club. We're gonna do an ab workout today, so grab a mat if you have it and we'll get started. We're gonna just go ahead and get down to our mat safely. So just go ahead and nod the chin, start to roll down like a candy cane, one vertebrae at a time. Go ahead and walk your hands out and just drop safely to the mat. We're gonna start on our back. So we're gonna start with just some bridges to get our abs warmed up and pretty much our, our, our whole body as well on our back. So lie flat on your back. Feet are gonna be close to the sit bones as much as possible. So you wanna really engage the, the back of the legs and hamstrings and the glutes. You're gonna squeeze. We're gonna just go for 10. Squeeze the glutes on the way at the top. Hold at the top, engaging the abs. And then go ahead and lower back down. So it's just a tap of the tailbone up and down so seven more five chest is relaxed four three two one hold extend the arms out from here we're going to do the same thing we're going to go up and down for ten this just creates a little bit more instability taking away the hands nine Eight, again, squeeze at the top. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top. We're just gonna do some pulses. So halfway down and then right back up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go ahead and lower the tailbone down to the mat. From here, hands are just gonna rest right on those thighs. We're gonna do an abdominal crunch. So chin is going to nod. You're gonna curl the head and the shoulder blades off the mat, sliding those hands along the thighs and then back down. So it's just a simple curl up from the top of the back. Try to look at your belly button when you do that. We're gonna go for 15. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, and really try to get those shoulder blades off the mat. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two. and last one go ahead and relax for a second from here we're gonna do some crisscrossing with our legs so this is gonna be intentional for the lower abdominal area all right so we're gonna bring one leg into tabletop at a time so right to left or left to right arms are gonna just be at the sides of the hips for now from here we're not gonna curl up just yet we're not gonna add any flexion we're just gonna start with the legs one leg is gonna extend straight out, other leg stays in tabletop, and then we're gonna go ahead and switch. Traditional Pilates, the legs or feet would be even on the switch. If you want more of a challenge, you can lower that leg down as long as your ribs don't pop and you don't have any pain in the lower back. So for the tension of this exercise, we're just gonna do it in the same height. So we're just switching back and forth. We're gonna go for eight more on each side. Seven. Six. Five, keep the abs engaged. Four more. Three. Two. One, bring both legs into tabletop position. Again, the back is neutral, so which is the regular curve of your lumbar spine. So you wanna have a little bit of a space underneath the lower back. From here, we're gonna go ahead and put the hands underneath the base of the skull, almost like a hammock cradling your neck. All right, so you don't wanna have your neck completely touching your chest here. You wanna have a little bit of a space enough to maybe make a small fist underneath your chin to your chest. So again, we're just gonna have our elbows wide. Hands are again below the base of the skull and we're gonna flex up 
uh, shoulder blades are curled off the mat, extend one leg out, and then we're gonna switch. So no twisting right now, it's just a simple contraction. Good, if you wanna get more of a challenge, go ahead and lower the legs. Abs are engaged. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold in tabletop. From here, we're gonna just go into a crisscross. So we're gonna try to focus on when we turn, the bent knee, you wanna really have your rib, your right rib go towards that left knee. So it's not an elbow to knee, it's an armpit or a rib to knee. And then back to center. Switch, back to center. Just go for 10. Abs engaged, keeping that flexion. Five more, you guys. Two. And last one. Good. Go ahead and relax, relax the neck onto the mat and bring your feet down one at a time. Give yourself just a quick break for a second and then we're gonna go into another variation of plank position to create some more abdominal engagement. So go ahead and just curl up for a second. Give yourself just a nice stretch in the back. Good. From here, let's go ahead and go into a plank position. So we're gonna go on our knees to start first. Okay. So, from here, pressing the floor away through the armpits. Abs are engaged, so you're pulling up here, tucking that tailbone under, flat back, so you don't wanna have uneven shoulders. Press the floor away, belly up, booty under. From here, you're gonna lift the knees off the mat, still keeping that long back, okay? So from here, head is straight, so thinking of pulling the head, the crown of the head out of the spine. Lift that left leg up, extend straight to the back, okay? From here, you're just gonna do some circles, trying not to let your hips wobble. We're gonna go for 10, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Switch directions. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and bring the knees down to the mat. Sit back into a shelf stretch and we're gonna switch legs. So back into that plank position, pressing that floor away through the armpits, belly up, booty under, even shoulder blades. Again, go ahead and lift up from the knees. We're gonna switch legs here. So knees lift up, keeping that flat back, head is straight, right leg goes out and extends, squeezing the glutes on the extension, keeping those abs engaged, trying not to let your hips wobble. We're gonna start those small circles. Seven, five, four, two, one, switch directions. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go ahead and bring both knees to the mat. Sit back again to that shell stretch, extend the neck and arms. All right, the last one that we're gonna do is a, a twist, it's a combo uh, workout. It's a pike with a twist, oblique twist, somewhat like a snake that we would do on a reformer. So same starting position that we just did. We're gonna go ahead and start with our plank position, pressing that floor away. Instead of bending the knees, we're gonna go into a full plank position. So same concept though, belly up, booty under, all right, we're gonna extend the legs out. Okay, from here, you don't wanna be too high just yet. You wanna, again, be in that long line. Neck is out, shoulders are down, dropping back, chest is open. From here, you're gonna go ahead and bring your left leg, okay, is gonna go behind 
the right ankle in this case, okay? From here, we're gonna go ahead and twist down just the oblique of the mid torso. The arms and top and your shoulders are gonna stay facing forward. You're gonna twist down here and then back up to a pike. Okay, so piking is a simple pulling that belly button up into the spine, back down, twist, back up to a pike. Okay, so that's now that you got the motion down, we're gonna go ahead and start. So left leg crosses behind the right foot. Go ahead and twist down, pike up. When you pike up, make sure your head is also straight down in line with your back. Twist, back up. Twist, back up. Just go four more here. Again, keeping those shoulders straight. Three, two, slipping a little bit, <laughs> one. Hold here, we're just gonna do some pulses. Up and down, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rotate back, bring both knees to the mat, and go ahead and give yourself a shelf stretch here. Lowering the head, extending the arms. And then we're gonna switch sides. All right. So you should feel that in every area of your body from your core or your glutes, your obliques, your shoulders, everything. So not only is it an ab workout, but really it's a full body workout in just that one movement. So we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So before I crossed the left leg behind the right, again, we're gonna go ahead and reverse that we're gonna start in that plank position. Really make sure that you're not slipping. For some reason, my, my mat, I'm slipping a little bit, but just make sure that you're stable. Again, full plank position, plus pressing the floor away through the armpits. Go ahead and lift up to full plank position. In this case, my right leg is gonna go behind the left. We're gonna go ahead and drop. Full twist, but again, keeping the shoulders forward. Pike up. Good. So I did about, I'd say seven to eight. I'm slipping a little bit. Oh. Three more. Last one. Hold, and we're just gonna do those pulses up and down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rotate back, bring the knees down to the mat, and just finish with another shelf stretch here. Really good job. Let's just go ahead and finish with a nice mermaid stretch. All right, so I'll face you. So in this case, I'm gonna keep my right leg forward. Left leg is gonna go behind, almost like in a Z shape. Right arm is on the mat here, straight. Left arm is gonna go over the head, extending all the way up and over. Keeping those abdominals muscles still engaged, even though it's a stretch. Place the other hand down on the mat, bring that right arm up and over, and hold. Obviously, this side is a little bit shorter range of motion. Two, one, come out of that, and we'll go ahead and switch legs. So left leg is gonna go in front, right's gonna go behind. And if this is uncomfortable, you can maybe tuck the knee in a little bit more. You really wanna try to have it a little bit out more as possible. Left arm is on the mat, still keeping some distance between the armpit 
and the ribs. So you want to be strong. You don't want to be sinking in the shoulder here. So again, up and over. Then come out of that. Switch sides. your ab workout for today again just a few movements but it's pretty challenging you can rotate the exercise as much as you want again from myself Sheila at the Claremont Club stay safe and healthy everyone we'll see you soon bye